So how has this changed over time? Presumably it's getting worse and worse, right? It is. You know, 1957, we have the first satellite, and there was bits of junk that was created with this because the rocket boosters went up, and as he said, some of those uh, old satellites went up, didn't work. But even in the, as you can see, as we went through the 70s and the 80s, so again, we're looking at that low Earth orbit where most of them go, and further a bit out or geosynchronous orbit, they start to really populate. And again, keeping in mind this is only things bigger than about 10, 15 centimeters, because these are the only ones that we can really track. And as we start to get to the 2000s, all right, it's all fairly consistent. But as you'll see in a second, as we start to get to the 2010s and then today, it really starts to bump up, let's say. And as we saw with the launches, there appears to be no slowing down of this. Uh, there's no access to it. There's no limit. So what does this actually mean in terms of where is all this junk? So if, again, we go look to this. Here's the total amount of stuff that we can track in space that is on track. So there's about 20,000 objects big that, enough to track. Big enough to track. And again, we think there are many, 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 many more small, small ones. But when we start looking at what actually compromises of it, the rocket boosters, you know, it is going up, but not dramatically. And that's because, as you said, we've made satellites small, so we could put more satellites in rocket boosters. So even though we're putting more satellites up, we don't need the proportionate amount of rockets. Okay. The actual number of spacecraft, the satellites, that's going up faster, but it's still completely dominated by the, the other line, the pink line, the fragmentation debris. Exactly. And this is what we're talking about. This is stuff that is broken off other satellites. Now, this because a satellite breaks in orbit. It wasn't made properly, and this happens. Uh, it could be satellites collide, and as we'll see, it happens. There could be very distinct spikes here. Now, this is obviously not an artificial thing. This is when countries, so in this case, I think it's China and the US, decided we want to show how great we are. We can destroy a satellite with a missile. Well, <coughs> well one satellite now becomes thousands and thousands of pieces. And again, this is only the stuff you can track. So now, you, that one satellite is thousands of pieces of debris streaming around chaotically in this orbit. Yeah, so, and of course, uh, each of the pieces is smaller than the original satellite, but still quite big enough to blow a hole in your wall and kill your spacecraft. Exactly. So you really want spacecraft to stay together. So one, like the one Chinese anti-satellite weapon test has what, drastically increased the total number of bits it, of debris in space. That's right, and, and every one of those bits is a dangerous aspect. So when we actually look at the density, so this is an orbit, so again, near Earth down here to about 2,000 kilometers, the higher the number, the more crowded it is. Yep. So we have our payloads. So these are our satellites, and yes, there's some areas in green where we have more satellites, but there's also areas where we have drastically less. Now, this is in log, right? Paul, yep. this is astronomer's favorite unit. Yep. So this is 10 times the amount from here to here. Yep. So there's a lot more track debris than actually satellites. So most of the problem is the small chunks of stuff, not the actual satellites. Exactly. And this is becoming, and this is the principle of the issue. Yes, as we launch more satellites, that's not great or can be great, mm -hmm. but it's all the, the baggage that comes with it. It's all that debris each launch produces and each satellite can produce. That is the worry. And there are very distinct areas where there is a lot. If you go to 500 to 750 kilometers, it's at least 10 times more than further out. So it's not that, as you said, space is so big and we can put it anywhere. There's very discrete areas that have massive buildup of this junk from the small bits that we're really starting to worry about. Some of these spikes might be debris from a particular explosion or collision, exactly. which produced a lot of material in that particular orbit. But that, very, that, 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 that particular orbit is still very small. So yes, you wouldn't want to put your satellite in there, but you should be fine unless you have to cross the path of that orbit. And that also ends up becoming the problem is as these things slowly come back to the Earth, they kind of nosedive across these other orbits. Yeah, so it's spread out. I mean, if they've just stayed in one particular narrow ring, but of course the various tidal pools from, are going to start spreading them all around. Exactly. So you might end up with a, uh, a thin shell of, of debris around the Earth. Exactly. And that is the, the worry that we have.